everybody, this is Praxis, and yesterday was a really great day, but also not such a great day. Just to get the not so great part out of the way, um, I was burning in that corner. This is the last footing that I had to burn through, uh, and there was a lot of smoke. There's a lot of turbulence in the air yesterday, and honest to goodness, I could not keep myself out of the smoke. Wherever I went, the smoke seemed to follow. I had work all over the place, so I, you know, was figuring, well, I'll work over here when the wind's blowing that way, and kind of just change it up, but. You know, it was just like, I'd be over here, I'd move, it would track right with me. It was, it was supernatural <laughs> how, how uh, effectively this, this fire kept me in the smoke all day. And I can feel it in my lungs. You know, I, I've got respirators, I should have thrown one on. I use them when I'm in a dusty environment or I'm like pulverizing rock or something like that. But I always had the expectation of like, well, this is ridiculous, how long can this go on? The whole day, it went on the whole day, and I, and I feel it in, in my uh, upper chest. So I'm trying to make sure I'm breathing just clean air for a while, let all this heal up as much as that is possible. It's, um, yeah, it's not good to get shit in your lungs, and I got shit in my lungs yesterday. Anyway, the good part is, look, it's coming out really nicely. Uh, all I really uh, installed yesterday was this uh, column and this column. There's uh, concrete inside both of those. Uh, but once I was done with that, uh, you know, again, to try to keep mobile, I was uh, doing kind of the landscaping, bringing buckets of clay, uh, clay soil from up there, packing around all these guys, taking this duff, this fluffy stuff from that pile, kind of putting a, a top layer on to try to uh, kind of insulate the ground so that, you know, the frost will have a little bit more trouble getting down under these guys. But, um, you know, it's really nice, and this is the last one here. Now, like I said, this was burning all day yesterday, and I don't need to burn it today. I was able to just kind of take a, a drill with a big bit, go through the rest, a little bit of hatchet work, a little bit of shovel work. Uh, it's up against the stone, so I was using a wire brush cleaning off that stone because uh, the stone had fire right up against it, so it kind of kind of like a uh, heat uh, damaged outer surface. And I want to get the stone uh, really nice and strong so that it will uh, uh, connect directly to the concrete. This is the form that's going to go in right here. I'm aiming at it. It's going to set in right like this, but I've got to cut the bottom of it. Okay, and uh, what it. I'm going to take a, keep about half the bottom on there, and then it has to have a very severe taper up for, eh, let's say, about a foot, maybe 13 inches. So the way I'm going to do that, I don't know why I flipped this around, both, <laughs> both ends are the same. Uh, I'm going to make a mark here, like that, and a mark here, like that. Put something that's in the middle between these guys up on the top here and now I got to make that arc it's going to be about 13 inches I was saying up to about here and that you know this is, doesn't have to be exact science all right so we got this and we're going to do kind of a parabolic section here roughly speaking I am not going to feature me trying to cut this thing because it's a pain in the butt to cut through these. Uh, I always get the saw jamming up. Plus, I can't find my good saw. It's around here somewhere, but um, I'm going to fight through it with this. But anyway, cut through this, get this in place, pack a little dirt around it, start putting concrete in there. This will cure up tonight. Give it a couple of days. And by the time I think I get the carpentry work done on all the other posts, that one will be ready to... Uh, to get a post put on top, and then we're rocking and rolling with just regular carpentry for the top surface. That's it. Thanks for watching.